the monologue. It is 2023, and yet we have to remind progressives here in Washington State that racial segregation is wrong. It is an odd point to continue to have to make. And yet, here I am telling folks in the Lake Washington School District this time, because they have a high school that has become the latest to host meetings segregated by race. Now, I know they might think these meetings are separate but equal. They're still racist. East Lake High School principal Todd Apple emailed parents not long ago about some upcoming meetings centered around student athletics. Now, any parent can show up because he said he was seeking, quote, parents' perspectives about what it's like for your kids and for you here at Eastlake. But the meetings, turns out, are going to be separated by race. The first one specifically for, quote, parents of black students. Now, the parents of white students, Asian students, Latino students, Native American students, They're not supposed to attend. But don't worry, they'll have future meetings that they can show up. They just haven't yet been set. Now, according to this newsletter, Principal Apple wrote, I plan to meet parents like this. Let me know if there's a group you'd like to be a part of. How about be a part of a group where we don't segregate by race? We hear from radical left educators all the time about the need to dismantle institutionalize racism. This was a point that was popularized and mainstreamed by the Black Lives Matter movement. We've been told that American institutions, like education, are steeped in white supremacy culture. And it's so bad that it still damages black students. They've been on a mission to root out that racism to rebuild institutions in ways that are fair for all students and parents. And yet, at the same exact time that they claim to be fighting racism, fighting white supremacy that doesn't actually exist, they use actual forms of racism. 